Right, we're here with uh, Mike James, uh, the New Zealand representative here at the Kellogg's Nutrigo and Ironman Series. Now, Mike, 11th, mate, that's a huge effort for your first uh, first entry into this uh, premier racing. Oh, it was awesome, mate. Uh, and the board, that last board there, I sort of looked who I was sitting with, and Z- was sitting with Zappa and Hursty, and, and I was like, oh, crap, what's going on? Like, pretty stoked, my run, runs were good. Sort of picked up a couple of places in the run and sort of tried to stay with Hursty in the swim if I could. He cracked, some, cracked a couple of good ways, so yeah, and, good. and you knew that the run legs were going to be, you know, one of your strengths going in. Did you target those as the t- as the time during the races where you were going to make up the places? Yeah, definitely. Like after the race started to go on a bit, and we sort of hit the hour mark, I sort of started to feel real fresh in the runs and sort of could start pegging some people back. So sort of just had to hang with them in the craft and. Yeah, just work the runs. So. Now you and Kane trained together at Cairo. Did, did you have any kind of pre-race strategy where you're going to work off each other during the race, or did that just happen to work out that well, way? Well, I just happened to be there actually. Um, he's just the champ, and uh, any um, any any benefit I can get from him is just just the bonus. And like he spurred me on during the race, and I gave him the let's go, Kai. You know, so, um, but you didn't well, get too far ahead in the swims, did you? And that, that's history. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just tried to stay on stay on his feet. I mean. He, he's a he's phenomenal for catching waves, so as close as I could stay on was, was what my goal was really. So. That's got to be good for your uh, for the mental side of your um, preparation going forward that you can yeah, take de- on these big guys. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, after I had a bit of a shocker and ended up fifteenth um, at the trials, I was thinking, you know, like it's a bit of a harsh one, but to to, to come eleventh is just just an absolute bonus. And uh, as far as um, your support back in New Zealand, um, you know, you're representing New Zealand in this race. We have, we've had Moody and Anderson before and Corey Hutchings, and now, now you're the next one in line. You know, how does that feel to be representing New Zealand? Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, I don't know if you saw, but there was a guy fully full body paint black there uh, with a silver fern painted on his back. That wouldn't be um, Philip Mills, would it? Yeah, it was, Avatar. <laughs> he was there. So uh, I think he'd be on all the, um, all the Queensland rounds. So look out for him on TV, really. Great, right, and so we go to Bondi next. Um, that's more of an eliminator um, short course stuff. Does that change the way you train in the next two weeks? Uh, yeah, definitely. We'll be, we'll sh- we'll be shortening out definitely. Um, still a lot of work in the pool. Um, but yeah, that one's just going to be all about hanging on and finding a nice wash. So, Well, your brother said before the race you were peaking out a little bit, but this has definitely got, to have, uh, got you in the mindset now that you can actually do even better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely has. It's um, phenomenal. Great. Can't, can't describe it. Thanks, Mike. Enjoy the moment, and uh, we'll see you at Bondi. Cheers, mate.